do you know that the future of the planet lies in your hands? By the time my talk is over, you'll know what you need to do to help save our world and keep this human adventure going. Today I'm going to tell you about nine reasons why we can successfully transform our way of life. But first I'm going to tell you a story. Everything changed for me about a dozen years ago when five large wood-burning power plants were proposed in western Massachusetts, where I live. They were called biomass plants, and at first I thought they sounded good. But people living near the proposed projects started raising questions and concerns in meetings with government officials and in letters to newspaper editors. They were worried about air pollution and other harmful impacts. One of the concerned citizens and I happened to be in a small group of artists who met once a month to show and discuss our latest work. And there she told me about the proposed plant near her. I read up on these projects, and the more I learned, the more appalled I was at their horrendous impacts on air, water, trees, wildlife, health, local communities, our finances, and more. But regulatory agencies had been taken in by developers' false claims that biomass plants would be clean, green, and renewable. They were greenlighting the projects, despite citizens' concerns and science. For example, regulators approved a plan for one of the plants to spew out hundreds of tons of air pollutants each year into a poor urban area whose air quality already had received a grade of F from the American Lung Association. So citizens were on our own to protect ourselves and our environment, with the help of several environmental nonprofit organizations. We fought like crazy, and we won the biomass wars. We gathered 78,000 signatures, enough to put a question on the state ballot, asking voters if they wanted to subsidize these stupid projects. <laughs> Guess what the regulators did? They changed the rules to take away the corporate welfare that these projects needed to survive. Here's what I learned. We have forgotten our connection with nature so profoundly that we're foolishly destroying our life support system. Forests throughout central and western Massachusetts could have been heavily logged in about a decade just to provide 1% of Massachusetts electricity generation. I was shocked at plans to kill trees and wildlife, rip off ratepayers, foul our air and water. It was ridiculous. But here's what else I learned. Citizens have the power to create the massive health and environmental upgrade we need. I observed that the most effective advocates fought hard while remaining optimistic and solutions-oriented and taking good care of their own health and well-being. So what about now? Well, if anything, the environment has gotten worse. With hotter temperatures, more trees dead, more species extinct, more air pollution, more uh, water supplies depleted, more soil eroded, more toxic chemicals, and more of us on the planet. When our environment suffers, we suffer. Just consider all the suffering from this year's hurricane season in the US. You may know someone who went through hell, or maybe you went through hell yourself. But take heart, because in crisis lies opportunity. Only after the caterpillar goes through a near-death experience does it transform into a butterfly. Or a person may survive a life-threatening illness and go on to achieve magnificent dreams. The same holds true for human societies. 
In the 1300s, the bubonic plague wiped out half the population in London in just one to two years. Can you imagine being a survivor with half your family and your friends dead, not knowing why and whether you would be next? Well, after several plague events, Londoners made the connection between waste and disease. They became bigger than their problems, and they declared a war on filth. They got busy cleaning up the city and creating systems for dealing with the waste. This collective effort uplifted society, and eventually, London became the center of the largest empire on Earth. Now it is time for us to declare a war on greenhouse gases and toxic chemicals and upgrade from empire to Earth community. The human species is in darkness and turmoil in so many ways now, but so much potential also exists. Could we be on the cusp of a quantum leap <laughs> that can propel our species into a sustainable way of life that can keep us and fellow species going far into the future? Our attitude may hold the answer. Instead of being debilitated by fear and despair, we can focus on solutions and our, and our strengths. Here are nine reasons why we can successfully transform our way of life. First, our rich capacities and evolutionary success enabled us to overrun and alter the planet. We wouldn't have these dire environmental problems today if not for our long track record of success. And beyond physical survival, consider astounding human achievements in language, math, science, engineering, art, music, and more. Secondly, we have millions of years of experience living sustainably, which, success, which suggests that maybe we can do so again. Indigenous people who make up 5% of the world's human population can remind industrialized people that we are the environment, that the environment enters our body with every breath of air, every sip of water, every bite of food, and through our senses. A third, a compelling urge to survive and help our children survive is deeply rooted in our biology. It's cooperation and caring that enabled our evolutionary success. Also, deep, we have a deep affinity for other living things, even those far different from us. Caring motivates us to take action to protect other living things. Fourth, our toolbox is full of green tools, such as solar and fuel cell technologies and communications technologies enable us to access information and ideas from all over the world and to organize collective action. Fifth, we have larger lives with more opportunities to learn, grow, and act than ever before. Average life expectancy in the U.S. doubled since the 1700s. Concerned and experienced elders who created massive social and environmental change in the past today teach younger people and promote intergenerational consciousness. Our geographical reach has expanded beyond Earth for many explorers. And career opportunities have vastly improved, especially for women. Six, we are powerful and free. Our democracy guarantees us the rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, freedom of speech and assembly, and the right to throw the bums out. <laughs> Citizens are the ultimate human superpower because we vote and we buy things. Our purchases make up two-thirds 
of the U.S. economy, and people do what we pay them to do. Seventh, we want change. Recent Gallup polls indicate that more than two-thirds of Americans, two-thirds, are dissatisfied with the way things are going in the U.S. And about half of us worry a great deal about climate change, air and water pollution, and species extinction. Oops. We sometimes feel manipulated and diminished by our society. We want more for our lives. We live on an abundant and forgiving planet. Nature provides copious resources, including more energy showering down upon us than we could ever possibly use. And when we stop our damaging behavior, uh, living things and ecosystems tend to self-heal, which is amazing. And ninth, so far we really haven't tried very hard to create a sustainable world for ourselves. So plenty of low-hanging fruit awaits easy picking. We can take some easy actions that yield marvelously large payoffs, and this can motivate and inspire us to do more. For starters, we could replace coal and biomass power plants with rooftop solar, which would help our health, air quality, and climate enormously. Feeling stuck is an illusion. Things constantly change, evolution never stops, and our transformation is already underway. Big change is not only possible, but routine, as when an acorn becomes a giant oak tree, or when dinosaurs evolve into birds. We, transformation requires effort and faith. A chick has to break through a hard eggshell without knowing what's on the other side. A seedling has to push up through, through the heavy ground without ever having experienced sunlight. As part of nature, we too are endowed with the creative life force that allows us to do great things. People are responding to current challenges with conscious and deliberate action. Recent examples include the Women's March, the People's Climate March, and U.S. states, cities, universities, and companies committing to the International Climate Agreement, no matter what the President says. We truly can succeed, but we're on a knife edge where we can't remain. The choices you and I make today could determine whether the human species wrecks our life support system and crashes and burns, or if we succeed in changing course. We have everything we need to upgrade to a high-tech and high-nature way of life. But time is our scarcest resource, and our dire situation calls on us to do much more. Action is our bridge to a sustainable world. There's so many specific actions you and I can take, but if I could just leave you with one prescription that could change everything, it is this. This is where it starts. Go for a walk in the woods or on the beach or in the park relishing your connection with nature and reflecting on the good news possibilities I've shared with you today. And feel in your heart that you and other living things are worth protecting. If we focus on all we have going for us, we'll feel confident. Feeling confident, we'll try harder. And trying harder, we're more, more likely to succeed in creating the kind of world we want for ourselves, future generations, and our fellow species. Thank you.